So I recently remodeled my bathroom and I replaced all the tile in the shower. Um, I couldn't find a good shelf system that I liked. Um, I've seen some custom made corner shelves that you can mount um, during the tile installation and I couldn't really find anything that was going to match. There was a lot of natural stone and some granite and but nothing that was, I really thought would look good with it. Um, so what I, what I found is a corner shelf. It's a seven inch tempered glass corner shelf and this was purely experimental. Um, I decided to give this a shot and so far it's been holding up really great. Um, we want one more shelf in here just because my wife has a lot of toiletries to keep in the shower so I'm, I'm just going to add one more. So I'm going to go ahead and empty these off just so I've got a little bit of room to work and I'll show you how I do it. So to start off with, I'm going to take my corner protector and my shelf is 7 inches from the corner to the outside edge. So I'm going to leave it an inch shy of the outside. So I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure 12 inches. Standard old scissors will handle this. Tin snips might work a little better. Cut one side, spin it around. Cut the other side, and you know this isn't real critical. Whatever's left in the middle, just break it and snap it off. That's Next, mark it right in the middle on your six inch mark. We're basically just going to cut a notch, like a 45 degree notch. Alright, now we can make a corner like this. So you want to make sure you get a nice crease on the back side here. Now you want to break out your tape and I've already started this because I did it on these two shelves. But with your razor knife you want to, this is way too wide for this corner protector stuff. So you want to split it right down the middle and I've just been going around and cutting as deep as I can and for each shelf I've had to cut a little bit deeper but basically we're just splitting this tape we can split it now or we can put this whole big piece stick it to the corner protector and then try to cut it off so I decided to do it this way all right now when you put the mounting tape onto your angle. It's kind of hard to see this stuff in the camera. Um, you want to leave a little bit of gap in the corner just so water can get out through that way. And then I'm going to stop just short of the front of this too just so I don't have any adhesive tape sticking over the front edge. Now that I got the tape applied to the support, let me move the camera so you can see a little better and we'll get going on the rest. Okay, um, I just tore open my alcohol pad here and I'm just going to clean this surface uh, just to get off any residue or whatever might be there to keep the mounting tape from sticking. Or whoever install your tile or whatever surface you're working with, if it's not fairly smooth, like I've got a small grout joint right here that goes up and down, but if it's not fairly smooth where you won't get good contact on this piece and this piece, you may want to choose a different location. Mine's pretty flush all the way across, so I'm going to get good adhesion on both both tiles, but you know, you just want to be be conscious of those type of scenarios. Okay, so I've got my angled support here and I'm just going to peel off a little bit from the inside corner of the, the backing material. And I'm just going to leave it hang down like this. I don't want too much, too much of the adhesive exposed. Um, this will give me a chance to position it. Got a little bit of overlap 
issue with where my I cut my little miter here, so I'm just going to take a little bit more material out of that. shelf fits up there um, and you can see I've got a little bit of pitch off to this side now you just take your silicone and you're gonna run a bead remember leaving the gap in the corner run a bead down this side and run a bead down this side and you want to try to get as much as you can on the on the uh, support here because we can remove any egg. Going to add a little bit more. This corner isn't quite square, so I'm going to pull this down just for a second. I'm going to add a little bit more adhesive over there. Here's where the soapy water comes in. If you don't touch it, you get a good bead on there. Uh, spray it down with some soapy water. Anywhere that the soapy water is, the silicone won't stick to. So the silicone's already stuck to where it's gonna stick to. And so I'll just give it a couple spritzes, top and bottom. All right, guys. So it's been about 20 hours since I since I mounted the shelf. Uh, the caulk is cured up, um, and it's in there. I mean, it's you can put quite a bit of pressure on it, and I mean, you get a little bit of flex way out here at the end, but it's easily going to hold any of the shampoo or shower accessories that you put on it. Um, you're probably not going to be able to lean on it and actually put your whole body weight on it, but that's not what it's made for. So uh, being this high up. You're probably never going to do that anyway. Now I did mount this. I've got the shelf pitched a little more than I would have liked to. Uh, it leans a little bit more. And that was just an error on my part in how I placed the, the angle bracket on there. But for, for what it's supposed to do, it'll perform great. Um, I, I chose this method, or I decided to try this method because I didn't want to drill holes in the tile. And I didn't want to scuff up the surface to use like an epoxy. I've seen some other methods that do that. I didn't want to do that. I wanted something that was somewhat reversible. So I went with this route. So far it's been holding up really good. Of course if anything happens I'll be sure to post an update or whatever. But um, if you never see anything else about this just assume that it's still going good. So uh, if you decide to try this method let me know how it works for you. And until next time be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.